Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon. On my channel, I discuss manifesting as a lifestyle every area of your life. You are a deliberate designer and creator of your life. I am your favorite manifestation coach. I am the only manifestation coach you need because you have success with my processes. I want to talk about my self-concept course because I am receiving so many success stories of people manifesting their specific person fast. Because there is no one to change but self. Everyone is yourself pushed out. Everyone is yourself pushed out. That means you only need to change your concept of self. And the reason why I'm receiving the success stories from my clients manifesting marriage, manifesting one of my clients in my group is getting married next month. Uh, manifesting engagements, manifesting their specific person fast because they change themselves. So let's talk a little bit about everyone is yourself pushed out. That means everything and everybody in your world is one with you. It is a projection of your consciousness. You don't need to change them or anything outside of you. You change yourself from within. You go in your imagination and you imagine that you are the person that has your desire. You go in your imagination and you think as if you already have your desire. It's already done. Your imagination is already creating. Everything is a reflection of your imagination. If someone came into your world and then rejected you, it's because that's the reality you chose. I understand you may not have chosen it intentionally, but you did choose it because this law is working all the time, whether you're aware of it or not, that everything is a projection of you. It's happening in your world no matter what. It has always been happening. You just weren't aware of it. When you wake up and you realize that you're the operant power, that you're the creator of your reality, you created the rejection. You created having no money in your account. You created the negative circumstance. It came from you. And if you created it, you can change it because you're the operant power. Don't think from other people's perspective. Think through your perspective. Your perspective of having your desire. For, for the most part, you want to think you want to think through your perspective. But remember, your reality is what it is because of you and what you think in relation to that specific desire. If it's a specific person, go ahead and imagine what your specific thinks about you. What does your specific person think about you? Get into that picture and play that in your mind. That will help you live in the end of the version of you who has your desire. If you want to manifest your specific person fast, my self-concept course is a guaranteed success when you use it along with all the protocol I put with it. You will manifest your specific person. You will manifest money. You will manifest whatever body changes you want because you only need to change yourself. And I know it's, um, it sounds easier than it is, but it is easy. It is easy. When you follow a protocol and you follow the blueprint of what to do, it is easy and it works because you're already creating your reality. In order to manifest what you want, you have to be the version of you who has it. So I'll give you some tips and clues how to be that version of you. Well, we do that usually here during this time of day, right? The version of you who has your desire is having certain thoughts. And the version of you who has your desire, what are you thinking? You're already thinking, I have it. You're not trying to get it. You're saying, I already have it. It's already done. In relation to a specific person, I already am in a relationship. I already am the only choice. There is no competition. I am already the best. I am already loved. I am already ch chosen. <laughs> I am already chosen. I'm desired. I am wanted. I am already with that person. This specific person is already mine. Those are all the thoughts. Those are all the things. That means that's those are the things you could you can affirm living in the end. Because the only thing you need to do is practice and familiarize yourself with that reality, and that reality will be pushed out. 
Your subconscious mind is already pushing out what you're impressing upon it. And you just need to impress upon yourself this new reality for it to be pushed out. It could be pushed out as quickly as overnight. You have the power to manifest over overnight. You're someone who can manifest in three days. You're someone who can manifest in less than a week. Okay, so you're someone who can manifest overnight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and answer questions. Hi, guys. All right, so that's why you can guarantee 100% that your desire is yours because you're the creator. So start guaranteeing it. Walk through your day stating to yourself, always oh, guaranteed. That desire of mine is already guaranteed because I already have it. I guarantee my manifestation because it's coming from me. Okay, those are the beliefs that you want to hold. Those beliefs will manifest your desire. Welcome, everybody. Okay, T, so SP came back. Him coming back made me realize I'm not ready. Is it okay to let him wait until my self-concept's in check? Uh, absolutely. So po that's powerful. Congratulations. Another success story. Consistent success stories are coming into my world consistently. So your SP came back. You've been doing something right. Do you recognize what you've been doing right? You do because you know you see it, right? But you're not feeling ready. But here's let me let me just um, help shift your perspective. Uh, sure, you could wait, but you could also imagine that you're, uh, we, we don't have to have reality wait. You could say they're coming in and they're helping you be your best self-concept. Do you understand you already are your highest self-concept? You already have this within you. You already have this within you. It's just you that needs to say you have it. It's just you who needs to see that you already are. You already are the most valuable person in your world, in, in the world. We all are, right? But So you want to believe that and think that, right? I am valuable. Do you need to keep affirming it till you'll actually believe it? Just believe it now. Your specific person, you could create a reality where you work together. Okay, first of all, to answer your question, yes, it's okay. You're going to do what feels best to you. And maybe you need to feel more secure and more sure of yourself. But you could also paint the picture, because reality is a story, that you work together with this. We never come perfect into a relationship, right? Right. Um, understand, even though we could declare ourselves as perfect, which I prefer to say, we are already whole and perfect, which you are. At the same time, we're always growing and we're always seeing a new perspective and we're always seeing a new reality. So you don't have to wait till you're your ideal self-concept before you actually have the relationship. You could grow together. You could, they could understand you. Why can't you grow together? Why can't they want to be part of your life and watch you succeed and watch you grow and watch and be inspired by you who's, who's changing right before their eyes in them as well. So understand there's infinite perspectives of the way to go about this. Okay, but you could you can create a reality where they are with you, they have their back and they're going through this with you. Okay, your self concepts already on point. It only isn't because you think it isn't. You understand that you're creating your reality. It only isn't on point because you think it isn't on point. Yeah, no, and he won't leave if you didn't accept his request. Okay. No, because you're the creator. You are the operant power. He doesn't have free will in your reality. He doesn't have free will. You are the only one with free will to think in your reality. It's your reality. No, he's not going to. No, he's not. I, I do have plenty of clients that say he's waiting until I feel more sure. Sure. And maybe you just need a little more time. Maybe you just need to spend time with yourself feeling secure, feeling sure, uh, accepting this and it can happen really fast as well and he's always right there when you're ready 
Okay, but you can decide you're ready now. Do you understand that? I just want you to to understand and identify you're not going to be happy in the future. Make that future now. We're living life now. We don't have to wait till we have more money in the bank before they come in. We don't have to wait till we graduate school before they come in. We don't have to wait until we've finished our degree before they come in. We don't have to wait to finish uh, losing weight or gaining weight till they come in. We don't have to have a condition. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, Aloha said, how do we do this with weight loss? I love my body. Live in the end of your desire. If you lost the weight, you would be saying, because your affirmations are already manifesting your reality, you're already creating your reality, because you think, you, oh, if I eat that, I'll gain weight. Oh, I better look at the calories because I'll gain weight. That's not true. It's not true. You only think it's true, and that's the reason why people gain weight that way. Some people believe they never gain weight and they never gain weight. It's your belief that manifests. So if you say to yourself, I am my perfect weight. I love how I look. I love how I feel. I love how I feel in my body. I'm always losing weight easily. I lost that weight overnight. Speak to yourself as if you already have your desired end result. It will manifest, but what's what you need to make sure is that you sustain this version of you until you become this version of you. Nothing in your world is real. It's an illusion. It's an illusion that people are separate. Everything is an illusion. It's not what it seems. It's all coming from your imagination. It is malleable and flexible. So whatever you decide is what your reality will be as long as you persist. Because if you don't, you have to be able to, to have faith in your imagination before you see the evidence of your five senses. With no evidence of your five senses, you have to, to lean into the faith that your imagination is the creator and creates your reality. Yeah, and Aloha, you said you do really well with prosperity, so use that to your advantage. I do. Um, I know how to manifest prosperity. That means I know how to manifest weight loss. If I can manifest prosperity and money coming into my life, I can manifest weight loss just as easily. I can manifest a specific person just as easily. I can manifest anything just as easily. Your beliefs are already creating your reality. You start to think more of the ideas of all possibilities. Infinite possibilities exist. Hi, Karina. How can I manifest something already created? Yeah. Unmanifest. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Um, so you've already created everything. I mean, this applies to everyone because if anyone wants to change the experience that they want, you have the power to do that because you're the operant power. So what is it you want to create? That's how you create what you do want. You start to entertain in your mind what you want to create. And then you live from the end as if you already have that by speaking to yourself and making statements in the present tense that you already have this desire. Or you could say an intention, but speak to yourself. I already have this. It's already done. It's already mine. Okay, think of the story with Neville Goddard. When Abdullah told Neville Goddard, you are already in Barbados. And Neville's like, what are you talking about? I'm in New York City. But Ab Abdullah slammed the door on Neville because Neville said, but wait, I'm not there. It didn't happen. I didn't get the ticket. I'm, I don't know. And Abdullah said, you are already in Barbados. And he slammed the door because he was reminding Neville, imagination creates. If you want to create that you are going somewhere, then you speak as if you already have that. It's already done. All you have to do is imagine it. Your imagination is your faculty that's creating your reality. If you want to learn how and better ideas and stay on target and stay consistent and sustain the version of you who has your desire, join my VIP group. It's a monthly subscription. You will manifest bigger and bigger things consistently. Hi, Michelle.
Okay, yes, congratulations. You, well, you said help. My SP is back, but not committed. Well, first of all, remember, you have to focus on your successes. SP is back, that's a success. You did that, you created that. What were you doing? You changed your concept of self. And you, in relation to that person, you assumed what they think of you. Now you have to assume they're committed to you. So affirmations are could be something like, I'm the one that they commit to. I'm the one that he commits to. I'm the one that she commits to. I am someone in a committed relationship. It's easy to commit to me. Live from the end that you already have your desire. He loves commitment. I mean, just it's entertaining a story because... You might see evidence that he doesn't want to commit because he already said it. And now more evidence shows you the opposite of what you want. But you have to start entertaining in your mind. Yes, the, you want to be with the version of him who is committed to you. Then you need to be the version who already feels that and thinks that and identify with that version of you. That version of you knows that he, I'm just going to say he, right? I'm, um, that version of you knows that he loves commitment. He feels like it's a blessing that he met you. He's absolutely committed to you. He loves being in a committed relationship because it feels safe. It feels good. He loves having you to go out with, uh, to travel with, to go out on the weekend, to come home together, to love. He loves love. See the version of him that loves, loves, loves love and loves to be in love with you. What a blessing to be in love with you. What a blessing. Okay, so you need to paint that picture and sustain that picture in your mind. Okay, when I say picture, you could sustain the picture with affirmations or by feeling it, right? By knowing it, by believing it, by affirming it. Any of those ideas. That's how you sustain that picture and that reality. It must manifest its law. Familiarity with that reality will push it out and it will become your experience. You're already doing it. Everything you're living right now, what you look at when you look out your, <laughs> through your eyes, out the door, out the window, into your world, it's all created by you from your past thoughts and your past beliefs. Everything you're seeing is your beliefs pushed out. To change what you see, you have to think from already having your desire. Understand, it's important that you're affirming, I am the operant power, I create my reality. I create my reality. I have the power to change this. Whatever you see and you don't want it, you look and you say, you don't have to ignore it. Ignore circumstance means you're just not going to think it's creating your future reality. That Whatever you see as a circumstance has nothing to do with your future unless you believe it to be. And for a lifetime, we believed the illusion of reality that the past had something to do with the future, which it doesn't. A powerful manifester understands you go into your imagination and you imagine, you imagine from the wish fulfilled. You get into the scene in your imagination. And just because you imagined it, you have already planted a seed. And that seed is creation. And that seed must grow and flourish. The only reason it might not be growing is because you're planting too many seeds that are doubts and worries in the opposite. All right, A, how can I do this with healing my teeth? You speak to yourself. My teeth are healed. I love my teeth. I love my smile. I love that I'm pain free. You know, I don't know if you have pain, but whatever it is, what do you want? Speak to yourself. If your teeth are healed, what would other people be saying to you? Your smile looks great. I'm so glad that you're feeling great. I love that you're healed. Thank you, music. Okay, speak to yourself as if you already have it. I've been affirming because I didn't want to buy my kids braces. 
and a cup of, <laughs> I don't know, let's see, right now my son just turned 14 a month ago. Since he was nine years old, I, his teeth were all separated. Everyone else was getting braces and I was like, no, I'm going to manifest that his teeth come together perfectly. And I've been consistently affirming it. Now he's a child. So it is a natural idea that kids, their teeth grow and they move. I affirmed and I visualized and I pictured exactly what I want his teeth to look like. And his teeth have formed exactly what the image is in my mind. So I don't, I'm not even worried that he, because he even brought it up. Should I get braces? I said, no, your teeth are coming in perfect. They are perfect. It's only our belief that we need this. It's only our belief that our teeth wouldn't move. Okay. Now, when you're going to see your doctor, before you go to see your doctor, this is what I do. And this works like a charm. Okay. It's literally like magic. Before I go to the dentist or the doctor, really anywhere I'm going, I'm setting an intention. So before the doctor, before the dentist, I'm saying to myself what I want to hear from them. Shannon, you look so great. Shannon, you're in the best shape of your life. Shannon, your teeth look amazing. They're perfect. I'm imagining the doctor's telling me I am so healthy. There's nothing. They don't even need me to, to spend any more time there because my everything with my physical is perfect. Okay, I don't take any medication. I'm not saying everybody has to do this. This is just me. I don't take any medication. I'm 51 years old. I don't take any vitamins. I don't take anything. I don't, I don't need to. I speak my health into existence. I speak it. And then, so remember, your affirmations are manifesting. Your beliefs are already manifesting. So if I'm affirming something, I'm listening to my doctor speak and repeat back to me my own affirmations. So imagine that they are saying this is working, whatever you're using, whether you're working with a doctor or friends, you can imagine friends or family are saying those same thing, the same thing, right? Like you look, you look incredible. You look fantastic. You look happy. You look like you feel great. Your teeth are healing. Your, your teeth look perfect. I love your smile. Speak to yourself as if you already have it. Um, Hi, Grace. How much is your self-concept course? My self-concept course is $88 US dollars. 88 US dollars. And you can complete the course itself in one to three days. I let you go at a self-pace, okay? You're going to complete the protocol in one to three days. You're going to also, after those one to three days, you're going to implement it every single day. My recommendation is for to plan for at least 30 days because you have to create this new version of yourself. It could happen for some people. I've had it happen as quickly as three days. I've had someone as quickly within a week, their specific person said, I love you. So all possibilities exist. You're going to see the version of you who has your desire and you're going to speak to yourself as you already do. Okay, so I have put together from all my success stories a blueprint for you to move forward. This was created from success. You are sure to have success. You are sure to have success. All right, uh, Jasmine. Hey, Shannon, things are going well with SP. Amazing. But he claims he doesn't have time to work with me. I don't want to go to another engineer. He doesn't have time to work with you. <laughs> Do you work together? <laughs> okay, so... Things with SP are going well. Whatever he claims that you don't want, remember, you're the operant power. He's only a messenger in your world reflecting your own belief. So speak, instead of creating from what he said, create from your imagination. He loves working with me. He's working with me and only me, and he loves working with me. Okay, Jasmine, so do you, do you understand that? You have to disregard what is said in the 3D. He's saying that because you had some worry, doubt, insecurity that played out. 
you weren't sure it would work, whatever it was, you know what it was. He is the re he is confirming what was within you, the insecurity, the feeling unsure, the feeling whatever story you were telling, he confirmed that story. It's an old story. Your power, th this is what you have, the power to change it. Because in this moment, whatever you're thinking is creating your future. So in this moment, are you going to think about what was happening in the past that you didn't like and keep recreating that? Or in this present moment, are you going to create the vision of where you want to go with this? He has plenty of time. Okay, so how will he have plenty of time for you? Then you have to be the version of you, of course, that you're, the version of you that's saying, of course, he has more than enough time for me. I am a priority. I am important. I am loved. I am chosen. I am number one. I am the prize. If you need ideas of affirmations, I have affirmations in my self-concept course. I also have affirmations in my playlist. The meditations in my playlist on YouTube. I am the prize. I am chosen. I am a goddess. I am confident. I am the operant power or I, God state, the God state affirmations. Okay, knowing that you're the creator. He's going to reflect what you're dominantly feeling. If you're dominantly feeling, he's he loves me and he sees me as a priority. He's going to confirm what you think about yourself. The reason that people might get this wrong, they don't see a result, is because they didn't see it in the 3D and then... They created reality from what what was not evident, like the, the manifestation not working. You have to sustain the vision. You have to sustain. Persist. You have to persist. He is a reflection of you. Imagine he's saying, I don't want you to go with another engineer. I only want it to be with me. And I only want it to be with me. Because he doesn't have any free will in your reality. You're the only one with free will. Reality is a waking dream. It is a dream. It is your consciousness pushed out. It's overlapping. There are infinite versions of you, infinite versions of him. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing or thinking. Your reality is created solely by you. Just like when you are dreaming at night, you're having a dream and everyone in your dream appears to be separate. They appear to be separate. They appear to be separate from you. They appear to be um, real. In your dream, it feels real. That's what we are experiencing here. It's the same thing. Just keep testing it because when you test it, you prove it to yourself. Okay, what's the version of me who just made $10,000 in sales today? What is the affirmation or scene? I love that I make $10,000 a day. I'm making over $300,000 a month. Start to expand your idea of wealth consciousness in your reality. Because many people think that $10,000 a month is a good month. But you want to start thinking 300000 in a month. That's a, that's a good month. That's a nice month. Maybe a million dollars. Expand your mind of the ideas of money being part of your life. I can buy anything I want. It's, I, I have the money to spend and buy anything I want. Money comes to me easily. Thinking from the end that I have wealth. I am wealthy. I have wealth. I have $10,000 a day. I can buy whatever I want. I can be as generous as I want. You're always giving and receiving. People see your value. You're giving value. They're paying you for your value. You're receiving for your, your value. Okay, do you see? Loop that. Loop that knowing in your mind. I have a whole section on manifesting money and building your wealth mindset, building a prosperity mindset. I have that available in my VIP group. If you want to join for a week, join and watch the videos and go into that section that section of my mastermind so you can start feeling and being that prosperous version of you you're gonna you're, you will see immediate results i promise you immediate results could be a shift in your mind immediate results could be part of that money understand you have to keep living in the end until you see that as as a true fact in your in your life yeah grace what if i messed up badly with sp says you won't forgive me and and ever see me again i was a bit of a psycho 
you have to stop remembering that whole scenario you, and you have to start remembering you're the operant power. They're not thinking anything unless you're remembering it. They're only remembering what you're thinking about and you're feeling embarrassed and you're feeling like you were a psycho. Well, they're reflecting that. It does, they're thinking nothing. So you say to yourself, they don't think anything. They're thinking nothing. Now, build up your own vision you see of yourself. It doesn't matter. Everybody's acted like a psycho sometimes. So what? What if he thinks that's cute? What if SP says that's pretty cute? And feels uh, and, and feels adored that you were that way. I mean, so do you understand? Your reality is what you say in the story that you're telling. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, you didn't mess up. But if you think you did, you'll keep creating that reality. Okay, if you want to shift into a new parallel reality that already exists, then you'd start saying to yourself that you're number one. You're always forgiven. If you, if you need to throw that in there, I mean, you could live from the end of not even worrying about that, but you could say, I'm always forgiven. It doesn't matter. Like, why wouldn't he forgive you? Why wouldn't he forgive you? It's only you that thinks he won't forgive you. Therefore, he's confirming your own belief. So start saying what you do want. Speak to yourself as if you already have your desire. At the top of a sheet of paper, just write, okay, if I had my desire today, what would I be thinking? Who would I be? What would I be saying? What would I be feeling? And then that's how you could get into the character and the version of you who has your desire. And then you loop those ideas in your mind. You're literally downloading those ideas. Your subconscious mind is already pushing out everything you are impressing upon it. Your subconscious mind is pushing out your beliefs about yourself already. So believe that you're someone who's important and you're forgiven and you're valuable and you want to see yourself this way. And when you do, the reality that you're living will reflect that. Your specific person will reflect that. I love you all. Join my VIP group if you want to be part of a community, if you want to feel it like a, a place where you belong, where you know that you're the operant power, where you sustain and solidify the version of you who knows how to create your reality, being a master manifester every area of your life. Join my VIP group. You can join free for a week. I love meeting new people. I love when you join. I love when you're part of the group. I love to hear success stories and you will have success in my VIP group. If you want to do the work on your own, use my self-concept course. It is a course made from success and continues to prove success stories over and over. You will have success manifesting your person or any desire with my self-concept course. It's being the version of you it's a blueprint to be the version of you who has your desire. So you have a protocol to follow each day and you know you're on target. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye.